Hello guys, it's Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan here with uh, radiology and ultrasound teaching video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, non-neuroepithelial tissue tumor. Non-neuroepithelial uh, tissue tumor is a colloidal cyst. Colloidal cyst uh, happens to be exclusively involved uh, in between the third and lateral ventricle that is foramen of Monroe. So this usually arises from the foramen of Monroe and it causes uh, hydrocephalus. On the CT images, non-contrast CT images, you will be able to see characteristically uh, round spherical and hyper dense lesion. It's quite easy to uh, appreciate on the CT images. As far as the MR is concerned, MR shows variable appearances because of the cystic contents. If there is any calcium or if there is any other deposit within it, a proteinous depart, uh, deposit. So on the basis of this, the appearance on this uh, MR images would be quite uh, I mean variable. As far as C on the CT is concerned, it's quite easy to identify being a very spherical, round, smooth and hyperdense lesion. So how we will appreciate on these images? Let's start watching these images. On this axial image, you can appreciate a well-defined, characteristically hyperdense, benign, smooth and spherical lesion. This is a non-contrast axial image and this is how colloidal cysts will appear on the CT images. This is exclusively at the foramen of Monroe and in between the third and lateral ventricle. However, so far this uh, colloidal cyst is concerned, it happens to be a small size. Sometime it will straight away cause hydrocephalus or sometime it may cause or obstruct the outflow from the lateral ventricle and uh, it may intermittently cause hydrocephalus. In that case, there is not much hydrocephalus seen, but because of the fact that this is collide, small size colloidal cyst. Another example, a CT axial image, well-defined, spherical, characteristically hyperdense lesion within the third ventricle, within the third and uh, lateral ventricle. Here you can appreciate that in between the lateral ventricle, this is colloidal cyst or this, this is colloid cyst. But uh, did you notice that in the previous image, it was happens to be too small without any significant hydrocephalus but here in that case it's causing significantly obstruction because of the obstruction the hydrocephalus is clearly visible so you can appreciate that both anterior horns of the lateral ventricles are particularly dilated because of the obstruction what i would say here that this is a very tiny developing colloidal cyst in the lateral ventricle and uh, in the uh, third ventricle and which is causing dilatation of the lateral ventricle superior to it and both uh, anterior horns of the lateral ventricle this is what the colloidal cyst will appear on the non-contrast axial images here on this axial image you can also appreciate a well-defined hyperdense spherical smooth wall lesion arising from the third ventricle uh, however there is no significant dilatation um, anterior to it uh, normal anterior horn of the lateral ventricles are visible uh, sylvian fissures are normal uh, quadrigeminal cisterns is normal so there is uh, apparently no uh, hydrocephalus a very beautiful example of a developing colloid cyst within the third ventricle here you can appreciate and if you do not focus you might miss that but this is quite clear very tiny spherical cystic lesion and that is colloid cyst in the third ventricle this was all about the colloidal cyst uh, which was a benign cyst and you have seen that how beautifully it uh, pop up within the third ventricle and uh, you can see that this is a smooth uh, well-defined spherical and hyperdense lesion and it is benign in nature and uh, because of the presence uh, within the third ventricle it leads to towards the hydrocephalus but in few cases i have also shown you there was no hydrocephalus because of its size so it may cause intermittent hydrocephalus or maybe if it is large enough it will cause significantly 
hydrocephalus. So I do hope that uh, you will no longer have any doubt to diagnose the colloidal cysts. With some other new videos, see each other. Till then, take great care of yourself and thank you very much.